Welcome to the Summer 2021 Walther's Direct. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to be announcing the winners of the Walther's National Model Railroad build-off today. We're going to be announcing the brand new name train and making a number of other general announcements as well. So, sit tight, relax, and have some fun. Let's get to it. This spring, we introduced a brand new Walther Scholarship Program that celebrates youth and model railroading while recognizing the future of our hobby. We will be awarding two deserving students a $2,500 scholarship to pursue a STEAM-related secondary education of their choice. That STEAM-related education will provide them the tools that they need for their career, as well as a lifetime of fun in model railroading. The submission deadline for 2021 was July 15th, and the winners will be announced in mid-August. For more information, go on over to walthers.com backslash 2021 scholarship. And to all those who have applied, thank you for your application, and we wish you the best in your future endeavors. Salute the golden age of model railroading with this Walther's Cornerstone N-Scale Trackside Structure Set. Generally speaking, an interlocking tower, a crossing shanty, and a handcar speeder shed will set a model railroad from sometime between the 1880s to the 1970s. Your own painting and weathering efforts will help zero in the time period further. This set is a tremendous value as it includes parts to build all three main structures, the tower, the shanty, and the shed. It also includes two positionable crossing gates, and a track speeder. Welcome to the conclusion of the 2021 Walther's National Model Railroad Build-Off. It's been a lot of fun watching everybody's entries coming through social media and seeing all the progress that's been made and all the modeling that's been happening. And I got a chance before doing this to see people's entries where they've got photos of themselves and their creations. And you can see the pride and a lot of fun that's on their face. People really enjoyed this. So it's been a great year. It's been difficult for the judges to make their decisions, but we're there. Votes have been cast, decisions have been made, winners have been picked. And we'll get to that in just a second. We will be posting the winners and the finalists for you to judge who's the people's choice and who wins the award this year. Starting on July 15th, you'll be able to vote on social media for who you like as the people's choice. And that person, whoever is selected, will win a $250 Walther's gift certificate. So without further ado, let's get right to the winners. In the youth category, our third place winner is Kyle Bartz. Coming in second, Orrin Lindridge. And the winner of the 2021 youth category is Josiah Jameson. Josiah's entry was very imaginative and filled with all sorts of small details that added interest from various viewing angles. The roadways and the track ballasting depicting use and wear, structures are well painted and look weathered and in use without being worn down, and there are several small details throughout the scene such as pallets and ladders and figures at work that make the whole thing come to life. For the open class category, entrants chose the scale that they wished to model from N scale to O. Submissions across the board in this category were of excellent quality. Our third place prize goes to Michael DeCenci. In second place, Craig McEwen. And the winner of the 2021 Open category is Matthew Richards. Matthew stunned the judges with a photorealistic downtown grade crossing scene. The mood and the setting gets well established through different ground level details such as vines crawling up the aged buildings, light poles and the smokestack, along with the lots that are clearly suffering from a lack of maintenance. You can tell a lot of work has been done along these rails over the years. The power lines, water tower and industrial plant give the layout a vertical quality that helps the viewer get into the scene as though they were the ones waiting at the grade crossing. 
In the adult individual category, our third place prize winner is Alex Hoffner. Second place goes to James Brassel. The winner of the 2021 Adult Individual category is Chris DeAngelis. Chris impressed the judges through his scene composition and the way each individual area looked unique and told the story. Every square inch of the layout offers a point of interest for multiple viewing angles. From the bumpered rail line that was turned into a jogging path, to the canning company that's fallen on hard times, and my personal favorite, the small freight house that's now being turned into a rail museum. It's an excellent entry deemed worthy of first prize. The third place prize in our adult team category is Christopher Freer and Team. In second place, Brian Sharfstein and team. And the winner of the 2021 adult team category is Patrick Iwanski and team. This team's entry charmed the judges through unique utilization of the space and a clean but well-detailed scene. The orientation of the various elements, the station and the express building, the supporting structures including two towers, and the smaller details like the footbridge over the rail, they all added up to an aesthetically pleasing presentation overall that is then complemented by the little details that add realism and storytelling throughout. If you're looking to plan a layout or a project, one essential tool you need on your workbench is the latest Walder's reference book. It's a convenient way to see all the new products that you may have missed over the past year and to stock up on supplies. We're working on the 2022 reference book right now, so go to walders.com to pre-order your copy. And 2022 isn't just any other year. It's also the 90th anniversary of Walder's trains. The front of the book will feature a special section devoted to the history of our company and to our excellent hobby over the last nine decades. And like adding a fancy observation car to the front of a signature passenger train, we've loaded the front of the book with special community content, including our popular yearbook section. In this section, we salute adult and youth modelers from all over the country. And we also showcase various hobby shops and clubs that really keep our hobby going. Go to the URL at the bottom of the screen if you'd like to make a nomination for any of these sections. And the 2022 book also features the ever popular Magic of Model Railroading section. In it, you'll find work from model railroaders from all across the country in various modeling scales. Top prizes are awarded for each category, so be sure to submit your own entries. Again, you'll find the URL at the bottom of the screen. And now it's time for the semi-annual tradition of announcing this year's Walther's Named Passenger Train. This is an excellent opportunity for fans of the selected railroad and really fans of general passenger service modeling to fully realize that subject's mark in history. So the subject for this year's name train is Pennsylvania Railroad's 1960s The General and H.O. Scale. In the 1960s, The General was one of Pennsylvania Railroad's marquee trains of the Blue Ribbon Fleet. Providing coach and sleeper service between New York and Chicago with connections to Washington, D.C. The train offered first class service at coach fairs with comfortable coaches and deluxe sleepers. Our new model is a beautiful replica of this hard working 1960s streamliner. This program has many different ways to model and enjoy the subject matter, so sit tight while I break it all down for you. Providing motive power is a new run of Walther's Proto EMD E8 locomotives. Based on the Pennsylvania class EP22s, Two authentic paint schemes are available in AA and single A options with or without factory installed Loke Sound 5 Sound and DCC. 
Both schemes feature Tuscan red paint with variations of a five-stripe scheme with PRR monogram keystone adorning the front or in the single-stripe scheme with the shadow keystone. And both include all the authentic prototype details that make them look just like the real thing. Passenger equipment in the train consists of 11 cars, including a reefer, baggage car, kitchen, diner, sleepers, and four newly tooled cars. The newly tooled cars are the ACF PRR style baggage dormitory, the ACF PRR style coach, Pullman standard six double bedroom sleepers, plan 4131, and finally that backwards running observation we hinted at earlier, the PRR buffet lounge observation car. The train will be offered open stock in two options, one with the car name and number decals, and the other with the name or number factory printed on the car. For enthusiasts who want a fully finished and well-traveled version of the train, we're offering a 13-car deluxe edition, complete with factory-installed LED interior lighting as appropriate and over 130 passenger and crew figures. It's a fantastic way to model this renowned train. Speaking of deluxe edition trains, Walters is also offering a limited run Washington section train based on trains 548 and 549, which would handle traffic to and from Washington, D.C. The consist includes the newly tooled PRR style coach, 10 6 sleeper, and 12 4 sleeper, all with factory installed passenger figures and interior LED lighting. With all the excitement around the standard railroad of the world, Walters is also introducing a new limited edition freight train. Pennsylvania's Keystone Merchandise Service, featuring a newly tooled Walters Proto PRR X29B boxcar. These limited sets will be available as three 13 packs of cars, each with 12 uniquely numbered X29B boxcars and one N6B wood cabin car. And the power to pull the train: a new run of Walters Proto EMD FP7s and F7B locomotives offered in a handsome Tuscan red five-stripe scheme in addition to the Brunswick as-delivered scheme with the keystone on the nose. Additional open stock cars are also available as well as two all-new Pennsylvania Railroad style structures. To learn more about these incredible trains, head on over to walthers.com backslash the general. All versions of this limited run HO scale series are being produced to order. Pre-orders are critical and must be received by your local hobby shop or walters.com no later than the August 31st, 2021 deadline. Well, that's our show. Thank you for joining us for a little bit of fun and some news. And I got to say before we go that there's been a lot of great modeling going on out there. We see it in social media. We've seen it through the NMRBO contest. And hopefully soon we'll get to see it again at trade shows and at meets. So until then, take care and happy modeling.